So in the previous demo, I talked about aligning groups and things like that, but those were all vertical. And I wanna show you how to line up frames if you're just designing on the fly. So I'm gonna to go to file and open in chapter three, folder eight. <clears throat> I'll open up this InDesign file. And this was an ad that I saw in a magazine. And I wanna to try to replicate the alignment of these three frames. Okay, because the top edge on this frame lines up with the top edge on that one. This right side lines up with that right side. This bottom edge lines up with that bottom edge. I want to make sure they all work correctly. I'm a stickler for details. So what I'm going to do is first go to my layers panel. We don't need this pages panel right here. I'm going to unlock the template. And just to make sure I can work on top of this, I'm going to click right here and right up here is a field. This is your transparency. So instead of 100% solid, I'm going to knock this back down to about 50%. Kind of dim it out, almost like I laid a sheet of tracing paper on top of it. And I'll lock that layer again. Okay, your frames here. So if I'm on a brand new layer, D for default colors not concerned with filling these or anything. I'm not concerned with them being red outlines. I just want to make sure I know how to line up frames. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit in this upper left corner. And I'm going to start with the rectangle frame tool. Remember, it's the box with the X because I want to put a photo in there eventually. So I'm going to start right up here and just click and drag like that. Nothing crazy. Just get a box on the page. And then I will hit D for default colors again to get that stroke back on there. Now, I want to take my black arrow and just make this outline a little thicker. So right up here is the thickness. I'll hit the up arrow. We'll make it a thicker two-point stroke like that. Pretty close to what they used in the original ad. Now, when I go inside, I can click take the side node and drag that to the width of this box right there. Let's go right about there. And we'll drag this edge down to the bottom edge of that red right there. Okay, so that's my first frame that I would eventually wanna put this rider in. How do I draw another frame that I know will line up perfectly with this? I don't draw another frame. Okay, I duplicate this one. So I'm just gonna click right here inside the box, hold Shift and Option and drag a copy across the page so it lines up right there. I know it lined up because I held my Shift key. Okay, we'll just take this side, drag it back over. Take this bottom edge, drag it back up. Now, how do I get a smaller box? I copy this one because when I copy this one straight down, the left edge will line up straight down, the right edge will line up straight down. So I'm gonna hold Shift key and Option key, click and drag, just like that. Okay, again, just get it on the page. I'm gonna take the top edge, shrink that way down here, now, how do I get the bottom edge of this box to line up with the bottom edge of this box? I select those two and use my alignment. Window menu, object and layout, align. I'm going to line them up on their bottom edges. It will take whatever's higher and drag it down to the lowest edge. Right there. Perfect. Click inside this box, now pull that top edge back up, and all my frames are perfectly aligned. If I zoom in real close and just slide this box around so you can see that, those edges are perfectly lined up. If I drag this bottom edge over, those edges are perfectly lined up. Okay, so that's what I do. I don't keep redrawing the same thing. I copy and resize. I copy and transform. 
So now these edges are perfectly lined. These edges are lined up. These edges are lined up and the bottom edges are lined up. If I wanted these all to have their true red outline, you don't want to start inside because that's just going to pull it off the page. Start outside, click and drag across, click on my stroke and now instead of black, here's my swatches. I'll click on red. <clears throat> there we go. I've got a layout ready to go. And if I clicked here and hit Command D, um, let's see, that was number eight. Uh, I think that was number eight. Yeah. Well, let's try it. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I got those three. So let's just select all three. Select all three frames with my black arrow. Command D in folder number eight. I'll click figure one. Shift click figure two, shift click glove shot, and I'll open those. So right there is my graphics cursor. I'll just aim for inside the box and click, aim for inside the box and click, aim for inside the box and click. Click outside. Uh, let's turn off my template. Click that little eyeball right there. And there's a simple layout aligned frames everywhere like a pro would do it and there you go aligning frames copy and resize don't draw over and over and over again when you don't have to it's not necessary okay that's how i do it